Alrighty guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So, first off, I really want to apologize for the fact that I haven't made a video for like 2, 3, 4, I don't even know how many weeks. Like, I haven't made a video forever. And I'm kind of mad at myself for that, but I, things have had to happen because I've like been busy and all that. So I haven't really found much time to be able to make a YouTube video. But enough chatting, well let's jump right back into where we were with our Ionic chat, real-time chat app. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is start setting up the account controller so they can log in. So well, we can just create a new function, so we can just do a scope.login for example equals function. And then the function, in our case, won't even take anything in. We'll just open up the squiggly bracket. And then inside of that, we'll get ref dot auth with o auth pop up. And in our case, the pop up it will be Twitter, since Twitter is a useful thing to use in our case because many people use it, and I use it per most of the time. So then the function and for the auth will take in an error as well as auth data. So we can open up the squiggly bracket. And then inside of this, what's basically going to happen is if there's an error, if error, we can do just do a simple alert message such as there was an error. And then uh, if there wasn't an error, what we can do is we can just do a different alert and we can do something say like you're all set. And then right after this, of course, we wanna what we wanna do is we wanna set a root scope variable, uh auth, I'm gonna just call it auth data to the auth data that we got. Just put a space right there, and then we should be good to go. So let's just get rid of this junk, whatever this is, just like that. So also in the account controller, we're also, of course, going to need to take in the root scope in order for all of this to actually work. And I realized right before this, we actually forgot to declare the reference. So we can do var ref equals new Firebase. And then inside the Firebase, we can do https colon slash slash rt dash chat dot firebase io dot com, of course, since that was like the last, the URL that we used. And then just looking at that, it seems that we should be good to go. So the first thing we, next thing we want to do is in the scope dot send chat, what we're going to probably want to do is make sure that you're, they're logged in before they can send this chat. So we can do if root scope dot auth data. So then that'll open up another squiggly bracket. We can put all of that and put the, all of that inside of it. And I think we should be good to go. So the user, of course, actually in our case, will then become root scope. Oops. Root scope dot auth data dot Twitter dot username. So that's how we're going to be able to fetch the username. And then the next thing is we're also going to actually want to add an image. So we can do image URL in our case. And then we're going to set the image URL to, of course, the root scope dot auth data dot Twitter dot cached user profile, because it's going to get the cached user profile from when they logged in, dot profile underscore image underscore URL. So that's a pretty long thing, but basically all that does is get the URL to the image of their profile image on Twitter. So the next thing we're going to probably want to do is jump into the uh, the account the account section where we can actually build the thing that will allow us to log in. 
So right in here, the first thing that we're going to want to do is probably just get rid of much of this junk. I think probably just all of that. Just make it a bit nicer, and then we can just do, of course, a div. And div, in our case, will be class, and it's going to be a list card. And then the next thing inside of there is we're gonna, what we're going to do is do another div inside of here and then the class will be item so inside of item what we're gonna have is an h2 and then it's gonna say login with twitter and then we can just have like paragraph text and this can just be kind of a simple like description so we can just have like logging in with twitter allows people allows you to chat with others. So, and then the last thing that we're going to want to do is create, go outside of this div, open another div, and inside of this we can do class item dash item and then item positive, or not, not item that positive, just positive, and then inside of there we can do just of course an ng click. So what happens when there's a click? And then we can just do, of course, do the login function. So, and then the last thing we'll just do is just have enable Twitter. So we should be good to go there. Then the last thing we'll do is we'll jump into the tab chats file so we can get everything working beautifully. Beautif beautifully? No, beautifully. If that is a word, but I'm not sure. So then we can do ng source. So then the source, uh, we can just, of course, just do a chat dot image URL. So like in this, what we can have, or what it's going to do is just find the image URL of the avatar of the person who's logged in and display that for their chat. And then just like that, we should be good to go. The last thing, of course, we want to do is because this is a link, of course, it's going to have an href, and this href is prop is just going to go to https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash, and then of course the chat dot user. I just remembered that because we probably wanted to go to the right user. So I think we should be good to go. Let's switch over to Safari, see what the heck happened. It's looking pretty good. If you ask me, now let's hit that enable Twitter button. Let's see what happens. So we can authorize the app. Take us back, and I'll say you're all set. We're good. And then we can say send a chat. And bam, just like that, there's a chat. And if you go into our forge, of course, there's a chat right here. And then if we reload the page and try to send another chat, it won't let us because we have to be logged in before we do that. So right down here in the login and auth, like we had last time, we have our API key for Twitter as well as our API secret. And of course, we also need to have thing, uh, need to have the URLs that, it's, that things are allowed to contact it from. So we have, of course, localhost and 127.0.0.1. So that seems like it's about it. We got everything working in this video, so I think we're pretty much good in this video. So other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video.